Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles, where I'm continuing to record set three from the 2015 Sudoku competitions from the World Puzzle Federation. Um, this is a consecutive Sudoku, um, and this puzzle was, um, oh, well, this entire pack was set by Indian setters, and this particular puzzle was set by Swaroop Gugulam, um, who, and I've almost certainly butchered that name, and I apologize for that. Um, and with all of the 14 puzzles in the pack together were worth 600 points, this puzzle was worth 45 points. Now, I've been told by people who compete in these things that that would mean that they were aiming for about five... Uh, yeah, five points a minute um, if they were really trying to push for it I, or, or better. Um, so um, you would be really wanting to try and solve this in nine minutes or less. I'm not going to try and solve this in nine minutes or less. Um, now, another thing about this, which I'll get to when I um, cover the rules, is this uses the consecutive constraint. Um, and the display of the consecutive constraint has changed over the last decade since this was originally published. This puzzle originally came with gray bars between the cells. I've changed it to the white dots, which is what we're used to now. Um, so that's the change I've made to this puzzle. Um, I think that's everything. Oh, below in the description, you will find a link to this puzzle as well as to the World Puzzle Federation homepage where you will be able to find all of the packs that they've released um, but since between 2014 and now. So there's a lot of puzzles in there, but I'm going to continue recording. So before I do that, let's have a look at the rules of consecutive Sudoku. So we have normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, we have to place the digits one through nine without repetition. Then if a white dot is given between two adjacent cells, then the two numbers in those cells must be consecutive. If a white dot is not given, the two numbers cannot be consecutive. They're the rules of the puzzle. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So, well, the obvious question is where is eight in box five? Because I can't put eight in any of the cells that are already filled. It has to go in one of those two, but I can't put an eight next to a nine unless there was a dot. This becomes an eight. So this is a triple. And what's the triple? Two, three, and five. Well, I can't put three or five next to a four because there's no dot. So that's the two. This is a three, five, and there's no dot. So I can't put the five next to a six. That's the three. That's the five. So next to a three can only go two or four. Can't see how to do that. Next to a five can only go four or six. Next to a two can only go one or three. So this has to be a one. This is one or three. Um, next to a one can only go a two, which still allows this to be a one or a three. Next to an eight can go seven or nine. Okay. So where is nine... Nine has to be in one of these three cells. No, nine is in one of these two cells in this box because nine can't go here. I can't put nine next to eight. And if nine was here, this would have to be eight and it can't be. So nine is in one of those two cells. Six, uh, not sure. So is it this run of three? It's probably simpler than that. I'm just not seeing it. Well, no, this is a one because of the Sudoku. So this is a one. Now, two is in one of these. Could this be two, three? Maybe. Well, actually, three is up here. And this can't be a three because if this was a three, this would have to be two and four and it can't be. So, that's, so these are from two, three, four. And if this was a three, this can't be the three, because if this was the three, it'd be next to a two or a four and it can't work. So this is a three, this is a two, four pair. Okay. So this now, well, this has to be one, three or five to be consecutive with two or four. This has to be six or eight to be consecutive with seven or nine. So what could this be? It can't be one, two, three, four. So this cell here, go five, six, seven, or nine. So all of the, well, it can't be nine because if this is nine, this is eight. Well, where's six in this box? Six is in one of those two. Oh, this cell here can't be two, four, six, or eight. This has to be odd. So this has to be even, which means this is six and this is five or seven. So this isn't six. 
And these cells here are five, seven, or nine. This can't be a five because it'll put a five next to a six. This is a seven, nine pair. This is a five, and this is four or six. To be next to four or six can't be three, so this is five or seven. What's this run? Can that be... Well, there is an eight down here, and I can't put an eight next to a nine. So there's an eight on one of these. If these... Hmm, well, nine is in one of those two. Nine, eight, seven, I think works. If this is an eight, this would have to go seven, six. Well, seven is down here as well. Does that mean this is seven, eight? I'm not sure yet. Oh, uh, no. What am I talking about? That does work. Sorry, I'm looking for consecutive issues. Where's two in this box? Two can't be in any of those cells. And two can't be... Right, this is a two. Because can't put two in this row. Can't put two next to the three. And if I put two on this run of three black dot... Uh, three dot... Or anywhere on this, it would need a three. Because two needs to be consecutive with one or three. So two is here. Means this is nine, which means this is eight and seven. And this is four or six. And the seven means this is the four and this is the six. Because there's no white dot. The four looks like making this the two, this the four. Which means this isn't the one. Ah, oh, seven, nine makes that the five. That may have done it faster. The seven makes this the five, which doesn't resolve this at all. Six is only consecutive with five or seven, which again doesn't resolve that at all. I've got most of this central stack, but not all of it. I must put an even digit on this, and I've already got three even digits in the column. So this must be odd. So it's three, five, seven, or nine. It's not three or five or seven. That's really cool. Look at this. This had to be odd because there must be an even digit on a consecutive dot. So there's an even, an even, an even, and an even. So this had to be odd. One, three, five, seven, or nine. It can't be one or seven because it sees one or seven, and three and five are both consecutive with four. That's the nine. That's the seven. So this run of dots is becoming a little bit more under pressure. Maybe? I, hmm. Well, hang on, I can't put eight on this dot anymore. Because if I put eight on this dot, it'd need to go next to seven or nine, and I don't have them available. So there's no eight in any of those, and I can't put it on this dot. This is an eight, which doesn't resolve that at all. But the even digit up here now is four or six. And it can't be with five, so it's either three, four, or six. It can't be six. It can't be six at all because um, six would need to go next to five or seven. So this is a four and it can't go with five. So it's three, four, and it's three, four, which looks down making this six and the three makes this the one. That's really cool. So this run... This run seems like the most powerful thing in the grid right now. Can't be one, two, three. I think it can be two, three, four. It can't be three. If it's two, three, four, it's two, three, four. It can't be three, four, five. Four, five, six would have to be four, five, six because I can't put a six here. So it'd be four, five, six. Five, six, seven doesn't work. Six, seven, eight and 789 doesn't work. They're the only possibilities, giving me a 2-4 pair in the row. So this is a triple. 1, 5, 9. Well, this can't be a 9. And if this was a 1, that would be a 2. If this is a 5, this would be a... So this is a... Oh, this can't be a 1. This is a 5. So this is a 4 or a 6, and it's a 6, which makes that a 4. 
which makes that a two, and this is the three in between them. The five takes five out of those. This is a one nine pair. The two makes this the four, which doesn't resolve this. All of these don't resolve. Similarly, the four makes this the six, which doesn't resolve that. This is the digit that hasn't been placed yet, which is an eight, which means this is seven or nine. But there's an even digit on here and an even digit here and two even digits here. So this is odd and it's not 135. This is 79. So these, yeah, these are, one of these is 12 and one of these is 34. Yeah, wherever the one goes needs a two. I can't put a one on this. So this is a 12 and the two is telling me that's the one and that's the two. And this has to be a 34 now. And the three is telling me that's the four and that's the three. The Raise a glass to freedom. Sorry. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. There's something going on that is absolutely awesome. I can't put a one on this white dot. So this is the one. And these digits are seven, eight, nine must contain an eight. There's no seven there. So these digits? I have to put a six on there because I need to put an even digit and two, four and eight's not available. There is a six on here. So these are from five, six, seven. These are from five, six, seven. So nine is in one of those two. Oh, um, negative constraint. Negative constraint. I can definitely use the negative constraint here. That can't be a five. That can't be a seven. I've completely forgotten the negative constraint. Easy to do. I need to put a three in this row in one of those two. This triple, what's this triple? Two, four, seven. That's not a, f that is not a four, but that means this is a five, which looks up making that a three. There's no seven in, yeah, there has to be a seven in one of those two. So these are three, eight, nine. If this is a two, this would have to be a one because it can't be a three. If this is a four, this would have to be a three or a five and it can't be, this can't be a four. If this is a seven, this would be a six or an eight. Okay. Sudoku somewhere, three in one of those two. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, two, five, eight. I can't put five next to six and I can't put eight next to seven. That's the two, taking two out of those, but more importantly, looking down, making that the seven, making that the two, this is the four. I don't, oh, right, four and the fact that four couldn't be here because of the three, five, that became a four. Two makes this the one which looks up making that the nine and that the one. And now by Sudoku, that is a one because it had to be one of those two, but that one was eliminating one. Can't put two on here anymore because one and three is not available. In fact, two can't go in any of those by Sudoku. So two is right in the corner. Four is in one of those. No, no, it's not. There's four fours looking into box one. So that is a four. There must be an even digit on here and it must be a six because two, four and eight can't be on it. So this is from five, six, seven and it must contain a six. I can't put a five next to a four. Huh. What's this pair? Eight and nine. Well, I can't put eight next to a seven. That's the nine, that's the eight. So this is a seven, nine pair now, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. So this is seven, nine, which means this is six and five. The six looks across making that seven, which means this is the six. The seven looks back making that the nine and that the seven. These, I'm just going to, are the five, nine, and I'll use the five to make that the nine and that the five. 
The five looks down, making that the eight and that the five. The eight can't be next to the nine, so that's the seven, that's the three, meaning that's not the three, that's the three. This box is missing its six and its eight, so I'll use the six to make that the eight and that the six. The eight looks around, taking eight out of there, so this is the eight. I need to resolve the seven, nine deadly pattern somehow. Six can't be next to seven. That's the nine. That's the seven, making that the seven and that the nine. 13 minutes. So not the nine minutes I was aiming for, but still a very, very nice puzzle. Excellent stuff. I'm really enjoying this series. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am. And yeah, as always, good luck with your solving.